The atmosphere at the Sid Gray Sporting Complex in Roxborough promised an exciting evening. Reinhardt, a visitor from South Africa, summed up everyone's feelings on a particularly festive Easter weekend. I love the vibe. As a South African, I love cricket and this is the best place. The pre-final All-Star match kept the atmosphere buzzing. Then it was time for the main event. The Islanders in red and the blue-clad divers were each anticipating lifting their first Bago Tita and crown with reigning champions Rainforest Rangers out of the running. Islanders took to the field first as the crowd looked in the mood for some great cricket. The teams went at it hammer and tongs for as long as they could. Divers recovered from a couple early setbacks and got into their groove. However, after 9.5 overs, a lengthy rain interruption forced the final to be abandoned. The captain shared the 2022 trophy on an evening of camaraderie and community spirit at the Roxborough facility. Both sets of players didn't seem to mind sharing this year's gong. Jaron Alfred, who hit consecutive half centuries last week, was named leading run scorer. He hit 286 runs throughout the tournament. Alfred, who also took eight wickets in the tournament, was named its MVP. Asif Cooper of Buka Reef Divers took the most wicket prize for his 11 scalps. Joshua Young and Orlando James of Little Tobago Islanders both earned emerging player accolades. Chief Secretary Farley Augustine took the opportunity to throw some good-natured peacock for his opponents and promised improvements as the Tita and Tony heads into its third year. And we are happy for your support, especially you spectators. To the players, you did a fantastic job. And we work on ensuring that we improve on this tournament every year. So by the time we come next year, we must have a proper press box, proper screens for the play, so that the press official of the year the team. And it was just us on Facebook, right, Mr. Daniel? And we will work towards improving the craft for all of our players, consistency in terms of training and quality output. But thank you all very much, and this will only get bigger and better year after year. Jovan Ravello, TTT Sport.